Okay, hello everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here to introduce some research of my lab on behavioral psychology research and artificial intelligence. Uh, first, I will introduce myself briefly. I'm graduated from the University of Chinese Academy of Sciences with a doctor degree and major in computer science and application technology. Uh, since 2014, I worked in the Institute of Psychology, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Uh, my lab is called uh, the Computational Cyber Psychology Lab, and the head of the lab is Professor Ting Shao Zhu. Uh, Professor Zhu focuses on the study of computational network psychology and machine learning. Uh, he put forward the uh, a uh, quantitative calculation method of network psychology and applied it to the research fields of individual intention, personality, and mental health <clears throat> by introducing network psychology and behavior modeling into uh, network psychology research. It breaks through the limitations of existing research models and open up a new way for the research of network behavioral psychology. Uh, Professor Zhu and I are both major in computer science. There are another two teachers working in the laboratory, Associated Professor Ren and Associated Professor uh, Zhao. There are excellent psychological researchers. Of course, there are many master degree candidate and doctoral candidate who work with us together in the cross direction of uh, big data and psychology. Uh, on behalf of uh, our lab, I would like to introduce our some research today. Mm, as we all know, our lives have been deeply integrated with the internet, social media platform like TikTok, uh, Twitter, and uh, wearable device and smartphone. Uh, they can capture the record our multimodal behavioral tracks remotely, uh, ecologically, and uh, longitudinally for a long time. Um, the behavioral tracks include speech, face, uh, body movements and text and so on. The multimodal data constitute a huge and complex network data space. Uh, it also provides a huge amount of data support for psychological research. Uh, existing studies have suggested that behavior is influenced by psychology and can reflect the psychological state of users. On the basis of previous studies, we introduced computer technology to code behavior so as to mining behavior and psychological correlation patterns more objectively, uh, providing a new idea for psychological research. Uh, uh, in contrast to conditional psychological research, we use data as a starting point of the research using data mining method quantify the mapping relationship between behavior and psychological index scientifically. Uh, uh, thus, automatic mental perception based on behavioral analysis can be realized uh, that is, we can recognize multidimensional psychological indicators based on behavioral such as uh, emotion, uh, social attitude, personality, mental health, happiness. Uh, we name this method as uh, ecological recognition. On the uh, basis of recognition, our work can be extended to many fields. Uh, uh, can to many uh, field and the research application, uh, such as uh, include uh, uh, describing and interpreting the psychological phenomenon, uh, discovering the behavioral rules, uh, influencing 
controlling or changing human behavior steadily. Uh, in the whole research homework, we need to uh, integrate data mining technology and psychological experimental method closely. Uh, let's first talk about the advantage of the network big data which we used. Uh, it's often said that it's not hard to be a good person for one day. It's hard to be a good person for life. Um, it's possible for a person to deliberately hide his true answers on a, a psychological scale, but he cannot um, deliberately disguise his behavior for the rest of his life. Uh, the internet behavior, on the other hand, can be captured and recorded uh, longitudinally for a long time. It's, uh, uh, it's recorded in a real and feeling way. Of course, the evaluation results may be more real. Another advantage is the uh, ecological perception technology which allow us to learn about a subject's personality remotely without having to ask him to fill out multiple scales. Uh, this is important for large scale uh, psychological screening or convenient psychological service. And the third network data is time capable. We can obtain the network behavior data of a certain day or a month in five years ago. For example, uh, through the analysis of network behavior, we can understand the psychological changes uh, of individuals or groups and realize psychological research across temporal and uh, spatial scales. It can be seen that network big data is a, a huge voice. We can do a lot of research on the basis of data. However, as uh, impossible to rely on methods of large data. We need the uh, help of uh, computers. Um, machine learning algorithms provide a re reliable and convenient way to uh, analyze big data behavior. Uh, we need to use data mining uh, techniques to quantify the mapping relationship between behavioral and uh, psychological in index, uh, like the W in the formula. Uh, the process of model training is to make the error between the real uh, psychological index sco score and that calculated by the model as small as possible through uh, continuous uh, irritation, iteration. Um, this slide shows the basic framework freak freak of our uh, psychological modeling research. Uh, in the, uh, in the uh, data layer, uh, we obtained uh, behavioral big data on social media. In addition, we have to obtain the uh, corresponding psychological label data uh, since it's difficult to uh, measure uh, psychological indicators by objective means. We ask the participants to fill in the questionnaire and take the results of the questionnaire as the real psychological indicator scores. Uh, the training data set is constituted by the individual behavioral data and the corresponding questionnaire result. Then we need to extract the uh, behavioral filter from original behavioral data using machine learning method. We could train the psychological uh, recognition model, which is a mapping relationship between uh, psychological indicator and behaviors. Uh, in the application layer, when inputting the new users uh, behavioral data, we no longer need to use the scale for uh, psychological assessment, but use the uh, existing model to calculate uh, uh, the, the psychological in index score of each user uh, 
automatically. Okay, uh, let's start with the text behavior analysis uh, about our work. Uh, existing studies have uh, widely used uh, uh, language inquiry and word count. Uh, we, we, we named it uh, LIWC and con confirmed it as a valid tool for uh, psychometric analysis. Uh, the LIWC is a dictionary and has uh, multiple versions of different languages, including the English, French, uh, Italian, and Dutch. Uh, this slide shows the uh, uh, LIWC English. Uh, the LIWC dictionary includes many word categories of linguistics uh, filters that are related to mental process and human behaviors. Uh, some studies have found that some uh, psychological indicators such as personality is significantly correlated with the many word categories in LIWC. Uh, on the basis of LIWC, our lab has developed a simple Chinese psychological analysis system we named TextMind, uh, used for the text word technique uh, seg uh, segmentation and content filter extraction. The uh, effectiveness of text mind reaches uh, and even exist that similar following studies. Uh, the uh, psychological semantic uh, dictionary LWC can be used to an uh, uh, analyze uh, psychological changes across time and uh, space scales uh, with the rapid spread of uh, the coronavirus disease 2019 around the world. Uh, many countries are taking strict uh, quarantine uh, policies. Uh, cities in China and Italy are were locked down in the earlier stage of the pandemic uh, in 2020. We examine and compare the impact of COVID-19 lockdown on individuals' uh, psychological states in China and Italy using social network big data. Uh, Xinlang Weibo uh, is one of the most popular social media platform in China like Twitter, uh, uh, we uh, sampled the uh, Weibo users in Wuhan, China, and the Twitter users in Lombardy, Italy, and fetched all the users uh, in published posts two weeks before and after the lockdown in each region. Uh, we extracted uh, uh, a psycholinguistics filter of each posts using the simplified Chinese and Italian version of uh, LIWC dictionary and con conducting the uh, Wilson text to examine the changes in uh, psycholinguistics uh, uh, characteristics of the posts before and after the lockdown in Wuhan and Lombardy respectively. Uh, we found significant changes in the use of function words, uh, relative words, and personal concerns words, affective process words, social words, and uh, cognitive mechanism words among Wuhan users' post. We also found uh, significant changes in the frequencies of uh, personal concerns words effective process words and cognitive mechanism uh, words in Lombardy. Uh, individuals focus more on home and express, express more levels of the uh, cognitive process after a lockdown in both Wuhan and Lombardy. Uh, in, in Lombardy, the, the level of uh, stress uh, decreases, the use of leisure increases. In Wuhan, uh, people convey more uh, emotion expressions, more feelings of uncertainty, and more focus on 
uh, groups after the lockdown. It can be seen from the results that the same lockdown policy has significantly different psychological effects on people with different cultural uh, backgrounds. Um, and in another study based on the linguistic and behavioral filters and uh, big file personality label, the personality prediction model can be constructed. Uh, many Chinese uh, active users of Weibo participated in this study. Their personality traits were measured by the five, big five uh, inventory and digital records of micro blogging behaviors were uh, collected well, while web crawlers. Um, after extracting micro blogging behavioral and linguistic filters, uh, we first trained classification models using the uh, support vector machine, uh, we named S uh, S uh, SVM, um, differentiating participants with high and low scores on each dimension of Big Five uh, inventory. And uh, the classification accuracy ranged from about 84% to 92%. And we also built uh, regression models utilizing the pace regression methods predicting uh, participant scores on each dimension of the uh, the of the uh, the five the of the five, uh, big five event inventory. The Pearson correlation uh, coefficient uh, co coefficients uh, between predict scores and actual scores ranged from the uh, uh, point forty eight to point. 54 uh, results indicated that uh, active users' personality traits uh, could be predicted by uh, Weibo behaviors. Uh, this result is the same as that of the same type of research in the world and even at the uh, leading uh, level in some dimensions. And uh, based on social media text and operational behavior analysis, we can identify uh, individual uh, multidimensional psychological indicators automatically. Uh, this slide shows that we can realize the uh, subjective well-being prediction on social media platform. In, um, in, uh, in this experiment, we compare the effects of different future sets on subjective well-being prediction. And in this table, uh, the B stands for uh, uh, usage behavioral filters, L stands for the uh, linguistic filters, and D stands for the basic um, demographic characteristics. And uh, experimental results show that the model constructed by integrating the uh, three future sets has the uh, best uh, results. And uh, internet data is huge and complex and the data types are uh, diverse. On the basis of the uh, text behavior analysis, we also explore the psychological perception technology based on uh, multi-modal behavior analysis, including a smartphone usage behavior uh, behavioral data collected by smart variable devices and uh, facial movements, gait, speech, and so on. Uh, we call the psychological assessment method based on behavior analysis based as uh, ecological uh, recognition. The scientific problem we are going to explore is that how to uh, obtain users' daily behavioral data and extract time sequence filters, uh, establish the mapping relationship between the psychology and uh, behavioral. And uh, uh, the real life uh, dynamic recognition of uh, psychological indicators 
and this research has important and uh, practical implications. Mm. Uh, the first, uh, through the all round recording and future extraction technology, uh, uh, realized the effective automatic uh, recognition of mental state by using human movements and voice data. Um, the second, to achieve low cost, convenient, efficient psychological recognition uh, technology that can be applied on a large scale. And uh, currently, uh, smartphones have become uh, increasingly popular around the world, uh, which becomes a, a necessity for individuals in modal times. According to the uh, International uh, Data Corporation Worldwide Country uh, Mobile Phone Tracker uh, in 2014, worldwide smartphone shipments reached a total of 1.3 billion. Uh, and more than basic uh, cell phone uh, capabilities. And the uh, smartphone is uh, built with more convenient features that uh, facilitate communication like a computer. Users can uh, download applications from uh, the digital distribution platforms to expand their smartphone uh, functionality. And uh, more importantly, uh, the digital records of individual smartphone users' data can be uh, collected and processed in a real time, continuous, and uh, non intrusive uh, manner. And in uh, this study, uh, 120 uh, seven Android smartphone volunteers participated, all of which have agreed to install an application um, on their smartphones, which can record their uh, smartphone usage behavior and upload the data into the server. And they were instructed to uh, complete an online survey, including the big five personality tree scale the interaction actionary scale and University of California Los Angeles loneliness scale. After that, we acquired uh, digital records of smartphone usage from the mobile sense, uh, is the application's name, and extracted uh, 48 smartphone usage filters, including the uh, app usage behavior, uh, the call. Uh, wallpaper change and contact screen and power connecting use information and so on. Finally, we train the uh, predicting models of uh, users' personality, uh, interaction, anxiousness, and loneliness, respectively, based on the smartphone usage behavior. Uh, this finger shows the performance of the model. The uh, work. Uh, the vertical axis represents the Pearson correlation coefficients uh, between the predict score of the model and the actual score measured on the scales. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, conscientiousness and uh, the neuroticism and uh, depression and the prediction model for males get a little higher accuracy than models for females or uh, total users. Uh, nevertheless, in other dimensions, prediction models for females generally get much higher accuracy than, uh, than males. The result uh, demonstrates that uh, users with different gender and uh, the psychological uh, characteristics have the differently on their smartphones. Uh, besides, the results show that uh, uh, open females, agreeable males and females, uh, conscientious males, uh, well-being females, and only females have more uh, significant 
phone usage behaviors, uh, which lead to a better prediction model for those users. The results indicate that uh, people's personality or uh, mental state can be told by their smart device in the uh, future. And uh, uh, the human gaze could reflect uh, workers' emotional state and could be an information source for uh, emotion recognition. Uh, Excel, uh, accelerometer is embedded in the smartphone and record our movements. So we wonder if we could use the uh, acceleration data to identify emotion. Uh, in this study, we attacked the phones to the subject's uh, right wrists and ankles so that we can obtain the ankle and the wrist uh, acceleration data of user when he is working. Uh, we uh, induced different kinds of uh, emotions by watching videos. First, we obtained the acceleration data of the participant working in a calm state. Uh, then the participant was asked to watch an, uh, an uh, anger video and work. Uh, the acceleration data of participant in anger are uh, uh, obtained. Uh, the last, the participant was asked to watch a happy video and walk, and acceleration data of uh, him in, in, in happy are uh, obtained. And, and the recorded acceleration data were pre proposed, and gate filters were extracted. Uh, we trained the emotion recognition model based on gate behavior analysis. Mm, anger and neural uh, emotions can be classified with about uh, above the 90% accuracy and happy and uh, neural emotions can be classified with about 89% uh, uh, accuracy. Uh, another in, uh, intelligent um, a bracelet is very popular now, and it also can record the acceleration data of various wrists. Uh, using the same framework, we did a similar research using intelligent bracelet. Uh, using the intelligent bracelet, anger and neural uh, emotions can be classified with above 90% uh, accuracy. Uh, as same as the uh, uh, phone and and the happy and neural emotions can be classified uh, with above the eighty eight percent accuracy. Uh, the results are similar to that of experiments using smartphones as data collection uh, device and. Uh, anger and happy emotions can be classified with above the 88% accuracy. Uh, in addition, the accuracy of multi-class uh, classification is, slight, uh, is slightly lower. And using a bracelet or a smartphone can only collect the acceleration data of one junction, uh, wrist or ankle. Uh, when working, the whole body is involved. So we proposed a novel method to recognize emotional state through the human gates by using uh, uh, Microsoft Kinect, uh, which is a low-cost portable camera-based sensor. And Kinect could continuously monitor three-dimensional body movements uh, patterns uh, and is a, a practical uh, option to uh, develop an inexpensive, uh, widely available uh, motion recognition system in human daily works. And uh, uh, the participants' case information was recorded as a video on the 30 hertz uh, and each frame contains three-dimensional information of 25 joints of body, including the head, shoulders, 
uh, elbows, uh, wrist, hands, uh, and span, uh, hips, knees, ankles, and feet. Uh, the experiment was conducted in a bright quiet room with a, a six meter uh, multiply one meter footpath marked by uh, adhesive type on the floor in the center of the room. Two kinet cameras were placed oppositely at the two end of the footpath to record gaze information. Um, after informed uh, consent, uh, participants took the first round experiment to uh, produce the gaze under the neural and uh, angular state. Uh, starting from one end of the footpath, participants firstly work back and forth on the footpath for two minutes while the Kinect cameras recorded their body movements. And then the participants were required to mark their uh, current emotional state of anger on a scale from one to 10. One means no anger, 10 means uh, very angry. And next, uh, the participants watched an about a three minute video clip um, of an uh, irritating uh, social event, which was selected from a Chinese emotional film clips database and has been used to uh, uh, elicit uh, audience uh, anger on a computer in the same room uh, to ensure the emotional aroused by the video lasting during working. Participants started to work on the false pass back and forth immediately after watching the video. Uh, when this one minute uh, working and the uh, in that anger finish, they were asked to mark their current emotional state of anger and their state just when the uh, video ended on the 10 point uh, scale. Uh, the second round experiment was conducted following the same prisoners and while well, the video was a funny film clip and the scale was uh, measuring the emotional state of happiness. Uh, there was at least uh, three hours interval be between the two rounds of the experiment in order to avoid the possible interference between the two induced emotional states. Um, every participant finished the two rounds of experiment and left a one minute gate record after angry priming and one minute gate record after happiness priming and two minute gate records before emotional priming as the baseline of each round. And every time before starting footpath work working, uh, participants were instructed to work naturally as in their daily life. The whole experiment process is very similar to that using the uh, bracelet. Uh, uh, as shown in the uh, psychological uh, studies on the perception of biological uh, movements, a uh, few points representing chunk and links were enough to provide information for uh, accurate uh, recognition. We choose uh, 14 joints to uh, analyze the gait patterns, including uh, the spine base, neck, uh, shoulders, wrists, elbows, hips, knees, and ankles. And the spine base joints was also used to reflect subject's position on the footpath relative to Kinect and for coordinate system transformation. Uh, features of uh, gait patterns were extracted from three-dimensional coordinates of the 14 main body joints by Fourier transformation and, uh, and the principal component analysis. And uh, uh, classifiers, uh, Naubes and random forest, maybe SVM and SMO, 
were trained and uh, evaluated, and the accuracy of uh, recognizer anger and happiness from neural states achieve uh, eighty percent and seventy nine percent. Although the results of the uh, distinguishing angry and happiness states were not uh, ideal in current study. It's shown the uh, feasibility of automatically recognition emotional states from gaze with the uh, characteristics meeting the application uh, requirements. Um, based on the research framework of big data psychological modeling, we can also build automatic uh, mental health recognition models based on gait behavior analysis, including the, uh, the depression, anxiety, self-esteem, sleep, social support. Uh, this table shows the correlation coefficients between uh, model recognition results and the scale evaluation results. There are all above media correla uh, correlation and uh, sleep quality identification perform better. And the Kinect camera uh, can be also used to recognize the facial movements uh, automatically uh, to uh, quantitatively uh, describe the three-dimensional facial movements. Kinect is able to uh, capture and track the key uh, 17 action units around the facial features in three-dimensional space. Um, uh, and the uh, action units are shown in the future, uh, in, in the finger, and in which shows that there are three uh, action units moving in depth dimension. Most of the action units are expressed as a uh, 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 numeric uh, weight that varies between zero and one. Uh, three of the action units, uh, including the jaw and uh, jaw and slide right, right eyebrow lower and uh, left eyebrow lower, uh, vary between uh, minus one to one. And uh, uh, absolute value of the uh, numeric uh, weight represents the moving distance of the corresponding action unit action units. And finally, the Kinect will collect one list of the time series data of each action unit's uh, movements. Uh, to analyze the relationship between the uh, three-dimensional facial movements and the self-esteem, uh, this study designed a facial data collection experiment with a self-introductory situation. Um, the sample comprised uh, 238 participants. Their levels of uh, self-esteem were evaluated by uh, employing the Rosenberg self-esteem scale and during the self introduction their facial movements in three-dimensional space were recorded by the Kinect. And the uh, um, two-way analysis of variance were performed to uh, analyze the uh, effect of the self-esteem and gender on three-dimensional facial movements. Additionally, uh, the logistic uh, regression models were uh, established to describe the relationship between three-dimensional facial movements and self-esteem levels in both genders. Uh, the result of two-way analysis of variance revealed a uh, main effect of three self-esteem level for cheeks and lips movements. And meanwhile, there was a significant interaction between trait self-esteem and gender on the uh, variability of lips movements. Uh, in addition, the combination of uh, the facial movements can 
uh, effectively identify, treat self esteem in men and women. And with uh, about uh, uh, 75% and 68% accuracy, respectively. And uh, uh, present results suggested that uh, uh, three dimensional facial exp uh, expressions of uh, individuals with different trait uh, self esteem levels were different. And such differences is uh, affected by gender. Our study explores a, a possible way in which trait uh, self-esteem plays a role in social uh, interaction and also provide a basis for automatic self-esteem uh, recognition. And there is another study about uh, facial behavior analysis. Many methods have been proposed to automatically identify the presence of mental units, but this have mostly focus on uh, one specific mental units. In some uh, non-professional uh, scenarios, uh, it would be more helpful to understand an individual's uh, mental health status from all uh, perspectives. Uh, we uh, rescued uh, we re recruited. We recruited one hundred um, participants. Uh, their uh, multi-dimensional uh, psychological symptoms of mental health were evaluated using the symptom checklist ninety, uh, and their facial movements and uh, uh, neutral uh, stimulation were recorded using the Kinect. Uh, we extracted the time series characteristics of the key points as the input and the uh, subscale scores of uh, uh, symptom checklist 19 as the output of, uh, to build the facial prediction models. Uh, finally, the convergent uh, validity discriminate uh, validity and uh, criterion validity and uh, split half uh, reliability were respectively assessed uh, and using a uh, uh, multi trait multi method matrix and correlation coefficients. And uh, correlation coefficients between the predict values and uh, actual scores were uh, point, uh, 26 to point uh, 42, which uh, indicated good uh, criterion validity. All models expect de uh, depression and uh, had high convergent validity, but low discriminant validity. Uh, results also indicated good level of uh, split half uh, reliability for each model and uh, validity and reliability of uh, facial prediction models were confirmed for the measurement of uh, mental health uh, based on the uh, uh, simple term checklist 19. Uh, uh, our research demonstrated that the fine green uh, aspect of mental health can be identified from the face and provided a feasible evaluation method for uh, multi-dimensional prediction uh, models. And the third part, uh, except uh, besides the text, the gait, the facial, and the way the speech is a kind of behavioral data, which is easy to obtain in daily life. We are uh, collaborating with uh, psychiatric hospitals to uh, conduct a research on uh, auxiliary uh, diagnosis of different uh, depression based on the speech analysis. Uh, the speech data of the uh, subjects were uh, obtained by reading and uh, interviewing and uh, depression identification models were constructed uh, respectively. Uh, as can be seen from the results, the best 
accuracy rate of depression identification is generally about uh, 75%. Uh, in addition, the speech data can be used to distinguish uh, depression patients with and without a uh, uh, comorbidity effectively. And, uh, and nowadays, various short video platforms such as the TikTok and YouTube are popular. And on the social media platforms, people are more prefer to share their lives using videos. And uh, video data contain users' multimodal behavior cues, including the facial expressions, uh, the voice, and uh, body movements. Uh, using the, okay, we can see this. Uh, using the big data, uh, a psychological modeling, uh, techniques we can capture the movements of the coordinates of the key points of the body and extract the behavioral uh, uh, temporal characteristics, uh, construct mental perception model, realize the automatic ev evaluation function for uh, multidimensional uh, psychological indicators. Based on the video gate behavior analysis, we can automatically identify multidimensional uh, psychological indicators such as the individual personality, uh, depression, uh, anxiety, decision making style, and so on. In addition, the identification results and the scale evaluation results were above media correlation. It means that the uh, models can describe the changing trend of psycho uh, uh, psychological indicators. And uh, uh, similar, we can capture the changes of the two-dimensional coordinate of, uh, of the 70, uh, uh, 70 facial key points and realize the automatic assumption of uh, psychological uh, indicators. And uh, automatic mental perception model based on the facial video analysis also has uh, good uh, performance. And uh, application of uh, psychological intelligent perception technology will uh, eventually settle on the influence and a uh, change of human behavior to achieve uh, psychological perception and intervention in a uh, network space. And uh, proactive suicide prevention online is a research application. Uh, uh, mm, approximately uh, 1 million people died by suicide global every year. Aside from uh, being a great challenge to public health, health uh, suicide also causes significant economic losses and uh, a, uh, and a growing labor shortage. Uh, it's uh, estimated that by 2020, uh, approximately about 1.53 million people will die from the suicide uh, annually. And the number of people who attend suicide will be 10 to 20 times greater. Uh, current suicide prevention methods uh, practiced globally include a school-based screening, uh, screening by a primary care provider and gatekeeper training, all of which are methods that are targeted at the uh, uh, general population and involve uh, passively waiting for people to be indeed uh, in need. And uh, however, uh, many studies have found that because most people expressing uh, suicidal thoughts and behavioral tend now to uh, participate in the aforementioned uh, actives and have low 
uh, motivation to seek help. Existing methods have a rather weak uh, effect on suicide uh, prevention. Uh, the main reasons uh, for not seeking help include the uh, lack of uh, perceived need for services and high self-reliance uh, stigma and structural factor such as time and cost. Uh, in contrast, uh, a proactive approach for suicide prevention in which the uh, program itself takes the initiative to identify suicidal people and invite them to use specific services may increase the likelihood of uh, service usages, uh, usage for the uh, hidden people. Uh, the internet has become a, a indispensable part of life uh, for many people. As such, the researchers have started to use those uh, self-generated online messages to identify suicidal thoughts and behaviors, uh, either by manual or machine learning analysis. However, identification of social uh, suicidal uh, thoughts and behaviors is is just the first step in suicide prevention. Even though the internet has been used to manage suicide prone crisis, uh, more effort is needed to prevent uh, suicide. Uh, previous studies have used the internet simply as a platform, and this means that they uh, suffer from the same shortcomings as traditional prevention methods. And uh, half of the Chinese population uses the internet. Uh, approximately uh, two fifths of Chinese uh, netizens use the Xinhua uh, Weibo mentioned previous and the uh, Chinese version of Twitter. And uh, Weibo users can post micro blogs posts publicly. Uh, similar to Twitter. They can also send direct messages to other users that can be seen by the sender and the receiver uh, exclusively. Uh, Weibo users can follow other users along uh, with replying to, uh, commenting to, uh, commenting on, and uh, reposting or liking uh, others' posts. And uh, uh, this uh, and an uh, average of about 100 above 100 million new posts are generated on the Xinlang daily, with most uh, uh, users being uh, under 30 years old. Uh, this phenomenon um, provides opportunities to prevent young people dying from suicide in China because existing findings suggested that young people feel they, uh, feel they can freely discuss suicide-related topics on the uh, social networks. And we proposed a new internet-based approach, uh, proactive suicide uh, prevention online for the identification and prevention of suicidal thoughts and behaviors. We identified a, a Weibo group online and manually um, annotated their comments on a suicide note to train a machine learning model. Next, the model was used to automatically identify posts that uh, suggested suicidal thoughts and behaviors. We proactively provided the crisis uh, management in the form of uh, emotional and informational support to uh, the users identified at, as at risk. And finally, we used uh, uh, language changes in their uh, posts as criteria uh, to evaluate the uh, uh, efficacy of the uh, proactive suicide prevention online approach. And 
and a binary uh, classification of suicidal cells and behavior detection model was built to determine if the comment indicated suicidal cells and behaviors. Uh, we used the uh, support vector machine, uh, decision tree, and the random forest and a logistic regression algorithms with tenfold cross validation to train the detection model because this machine uh, learning algorithms are the most widely used methods of predicting uh, psychological characteristics and emotions and detecting suicide ideation. Uh, the performance of the detection model was evaluated through the uh, use of four metrics, uh, precision, recall, uh, app measure, and accuracy. And the best overall model was the uh, SVM model uh, for the suicidal ideation detection model based on a single uh, micro block. The precision and recall are both uh, 85%. And the all uh, uh, Weibo users who were uh, identified by the machine learning model as expressing suicidal thoughts and behaviors were invited to join the study via a direct message. Uh, there were uh, no uh, exclusion uh, criteria because we aim to reach out and provide support to as many suicidal social media users as possible. And the direct message designed in our previous studies include uh, one uh, brief introduce, uh, introduction uh, to the project and two, the URLs for assessment protocols on suicidal thoughts and behaviors, uh, depressive symptoms, and help-seeking behaviors. And the third is emotional supports. And uh, four is the uh, informational support. And five is the details regarding the availability of one-to-one -one, uh, counseling by contacting uh, counselors via direct messages. Uh, if a user replied to the direct message, uh, counselors provided support that uh, was uh, targeted to the user's specific problem. And 12 uh, certified uh, counselors with experience in handling suicidal cases were trained to provide uh, counseling uh, services through the direct messaging. We send direct messages to uh, above uh, uh, 10,000 uh, 10, uh, users who were identified as having expressed suicidal thoughts and behaviors in the uh, about, uh, about 24,000 comments by the machine learning model. A total of the uh, of the 34% of the individuals completed the assessment protocol and there were uh, 1,403 valid samples. Uh, females significantly outnumbered males and most of the participants were students or employed single and had uh, graduated from college. Uh, through the research application, we received many direct messages from users thanking us for our help. For example, thank you, you are the first person to ask me that. Um, proactive suicide prevention online make them feel warm. Artific artific uh, artificial intelligence technology is no longer uh, emotionless. And between the uh, July uh, 3rd, uh, 2017, and July 3rd, 2019, uh, Weibo users logged into the study website to view uh, prevention uh, information uh, 12,300 times, a total of 2,321 
users uh, reply to uh, direct messages at least once. Uh, on average, there were uh, about uh, uh, above 200 uh, users who interacted with our uh, counselors every month. Uh, approximately uh, ninety percent of the micro uh, of the users, the micro blogger is Weibo users replied fewer than ten times. Uh, nearly ninety seven percent of the uh, Weibo users interacted with our uh, counselors for less than five days. A total of one thousand and ninety seven users completed an assessment protocol and uh, uh, co uh, consultation, uh, consultation. And of the uh, 12,486 uh, web users who were contacted. Mm, uh, and uh, Earlier studies found that uh, percentages of college students seeking help from professionals were 5.1% uh, for all college students and 14.4% for college students with mental health problems and 4.5% uh, uh, for college students without many, uh, without mental health problems. Compared with the traditional method used, uh, we were able to uh, prompt a large number of people identify where the machine learning model as having post -su suicidal contents to seek help for their uh, distress or uh, suicidal ideation. Uh, in our study, we first identified a micro blog group, a group formed around the uh, Xilang Weibo account of uh, uh, users who uh, committed suicide, uh, which was an efficient way to identify a high risk population. And then we uh, proactively pushed the direct messages to invite all of the uh, users identified by the machine learning model as people who had uh, exhibited uh, suicide, uh, exhibited suicidal uh, thoughts and behaviors to participate in our study. Our results provide some uh, preliminary, uh, preliminary uh, evidence that uh, automatic identification of suicidal thoughts and behaviors uh, along with uh, proactive suicide prevention are acceptable and helpful. Uh, in this study, most individuals who completed the questionnaires were single females with a college degree. This is uh, consistent with a previous study showing that females are more likely to talk about suicide ideation to health professionals and use health service than males. Uh, those with a uh, higher education and those who were never married also has significantly higher odds of receiving mental health treatment. And uh, our study may be a useful uh, supplement to existing prevention uh, programs and suicide crisis management may increase public awareness of health seeking related to suicide risk, uh, thereby uh, improving the well-being of the uh, population. And today I'm very happy to share with you uh, some researchers about the big data uh, uh, psychology. I think the problems we care about are closely related to our lives, uh, how to effectively uh, analyze big behavioral data and discover the uh, psychology behind it and how to use the internet platform to influence human behavior and how to make people have a happier life in the uh, internet plus AI era. Um, I believe that the combination of 
uh, psychology and artificial intelligence technology can further expand the application scopes of uh, psychology, uh, uh, psychology and make our uh, life uh, better. And uh, that's all for uh, today's report. Uh, thank you again, as well as uh, the uh, organizers of the lecture. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Liu. It's very, very interesting presentation. Actually, in Thailand, we just had a research on the AI and suicidal prevention or suicidal, suicidal risk. So I think that's now Thailand tied to like do a lot of AI and machine learning also, you know, but our institute tied to learn, you know, from you and from Ajahn Wee. So thank you very much. Uh, does the audience have any question for Dr. Liu? No, no questions. Actually, I have a question. I just, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Liu and Ajahn Bi also here, so I just want to ask both of you, what is the law of ma uh, learning machine in qualitative data analysis? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear clearly. Uh, you okay, mean, sure. Uh, can uh, you speak more slower? <laughs> because sure, sure. Was, uh, I would like you to explain a little bit more about the law of machine learning in qualitative data analysis. In qualitative what? Yes, qualitative data analysis. I think I can, I, I type uh, it. I can answer, help answer this question if you want. Ah, thank you. Yes, Ajahn Wee. Um, in, in for qualitative, uh, usually the, the input data are, are text, right? Um, so in the machine learning, there's a field called uh, natural language processing, uh, which process uh, uh, this input data in, in text and try to understand what these messages try to, to say and uh, uh, try to summarize data from, from uh, a bunch of, of uh, characters. Uh, for example, there's some research on um, a summarization of uh, company uh, financial statement and try to summarize what the financial statement uh, trying to say in a couple of sentences. So uh, that kind of uh, qualitative uh, research that run that kind of uh, machine learning technique that can use for qualitative research. Thank you very much, Ajahn B. Dr. Liu, would you like to elaborate on this also? Uh, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, I think the, uh, because in the psychology research, uh, we, uh, in the traditional psychology research, we, um, because uh, such as the text or the gate or face, we need to watch. And uh, we uh, use the machine learning method to uh, make this behaviors into the digital data and to uh, uh, use the uh, data mining method to mapping the behavioral to the psychological index and uh, likely to form a formula. Uh, so you, we can uh, calculate uh, a computer or we can use the computer to calculate the uh, psychological index through uh, based uh, the uh, behavioral analysis uh, directly used uh, as a formula. So we can use the uh, machine learning method to uh, make uh, more research about the psychological research. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, because like some of our students are uh, like want to emphasize on learning qualitative data. So maybe they think that's all oh, the qualitative data is doesn't like relates to the uh, data side. Actually, is I think it's quite related to data side, especially in your like a uh, presentation. That's why I asking this question. So it's very clear now. So thank you very much. Uh, I would you. like to ask other people that uh, do you guys have any questions? 
relate to the data side presentation. Ajahn Wee is also here. So if you have any more questions, you can ask. And Dr. Liu also can, can ask Dr. Liu also. No? You can ask in Thai also. I can translate for you if you want. Okay. So I guess it's no question now. So I would like to thank again Ajahn Wee and Dr. Liu. Thank you very much for your presentation today. Personally, I learned a lot from you guys today because I don't have any knowledge on data science. I think I learned a lot today. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.